Well, today I'm going to paint this, uh, this Button Oyster. It's a very ancient old pub restaurant in Orwell, or a pin mill actually, on the River Orwell in Suffolk. It's a pretty amazing place. Um, beautiful, a uh, lot of activity, as I say, a lovely pub here, get a nice meal. But all around there's all sorts of boat activity, yachts, boat repair, refitting, all sorts of uh, scenery. So I'm going to try and capture this, uh, this scene. Um, I took, I've got a reference photograph here, which um, I'll show you. Can you see that magnificent old pub? And uh, so I'm going to try and catch these nice greens and the shadows on the front of that building. The people, the, the colour and the activity. We've got some interest in the foreground here with this little uh, boat with the outboard on. Lots of old barges here in the background. And we've got these rails which hopefully lead our eye into this. But the main thing is to try and capture the atmosphere and the light and the um, lovely sunshine with the shadows here. We'll have to make sure we bring out those shadows. So let's get on with that. Uh, as you say, I can have sketched it out. Um, you should be able to see that fairly lightly. Um, so I'll get on and lay some, I think we should get the sky in first of all. Uh, so we, there was no clouds in the sky this uh, particular day. It's a bright, bright, sunny day. So I'm just going to water, dampen this right down over these trees here. And it's concentrate on the lights, put in my lights first of all, which is the traditional way with watercolour or from light to dark and the other way around if you're doing oil you put your darkest darks in but like all rules you don't slavishly follow them they're just guidance it depends what method you use so I've got that nice dam in there and I'm going to um, I think I'm going to use a cerulean here. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely light colour, light blue. So I better just clean my palette a little bit. So I've got my usual uh, palette here, nothing new about that. Got my yellows, reds, different blues, cerulean down here, cobalt, ultramarine, cadmium red. Uh, raw sienna, burnt sienna, umber, burnt umber, some greens, some violet here, sap green, um, viridian, hooker's green, and I've got some nice yellows, lemon yellow there, ochre there, uh, cadmium yellow, looking a bit grubby actually. Got to clean that up if I'm using that. And Naples yellow up there. So I've spritzed them with a fine mist to get a little bit of uh, uh, colour going. They dry out a little bit if you haven't painted for a little while. So let's just clean my palette here, or one of these wells. I want a nice clean blue at this stage. Anyway, so we've done that. I think that'll be all right. So let's turn this around. Okay, so you can see. Yes, there's my uh, my cerulean. So a nice sort of light blue. Plenty of water, a nice puddle, 
nice puddle going here. Right. Okay. Let's sweep that in then. Notice I've got my easel somewhat tilted here. So I'll get a little graduated wash. Just add water as I come down. It gets lighter towards the horizon there. Um, remember of course it always dries a great deal lighter. So you've got to try and judge that. So I'm going to make sure I've got a little bit more colour there. As I sweep it down. Right, let's leave it at that. For drama, of course, you could always add uh, clouds, but uh, I don't want anything to detract us from the view of this great uh, pub here. So I've got to um, try and uh, focus attention on that because that is our main of part of the interest. So just wipe out there a little bit, some puddle there, and we've got different coloured roofs. This would be more umber, this one on this side, and this one here is a little bit more terracotta colour. So I'll try and get that going as well. Um, so let's, uh, do I need a so I've got a Chinese brush at the moment, um, fairly big actually, I don't know how they grade them, if anybody can read Chinese they can tell me what that is, but uh, let's um, see what colours we can conjure up for this roof. So I've got some, uh, oh yes, sienna. Oh, Sienna. Let's, uh, I think this is the redder one. Let's get a little bit more red in that. Um, yes. You see it's damp, it's bleeding into my... don't want to go too close to my sky there, the edge here, because that's still a bit wet. I should have let it dry a little bit, but I don't want to delay too long. We can always come up with those edges a little bit later. And when it's wet like this, this is what they call wet on wet, I can drop different colours into it to give me some variety. So I'll put a little bit of uh, dark into this. But essentially I want to keep it fairly reddish as it was somewhat redder than the one on the right, the other part of the building. And the sun is coming from uh, from this side on the right. So there will be shadows cast by the chimneys and the building itself out here and this boat here. So let's uh, leave that for a moment and get on to a little darker colour for the other one. So I've got some sienna We'll see a little bit of umber, a little bit of Payne's grey. Yes, we've got a degree of redness still. But uh, let's have a go, see what comes up here. 
Yes, that's uh, that can do it. I think I could put different details in to represent the tiles as I go. Perhaps when it's a little drier, a few features, but I want to capture the impression of this pub rather than an absolutely accurate. It is pretty accurate actually. I'm going to keep it fairly tight if I can, but not photorealism anyway, that's for sure. Um, you need to squint your eyes too sometimes to see the different values compared with different areas of the painting. It's good to look away sometimes. Your eyes get quite a bit tired sometimes and you fail to see the differences. So that's why you come back the following day sometimes and see something where you could have done it better. If you get a chance to visit this this uh, area, Pin Mill, on the River Orwell, you're in for a treat. It's like another world. Beloved of yachtsmen, of course, but even if you're not into sailing, you could still enjoy it. And off to the right here, out of view, is a beautiful um, house, Alma House. And this was where Arthur Ransom lived, you know, from Swallows and Amazons, the writer. He was there in the 30s, I think. Uh, he did obviously a lot in the Lake District, but he uh, was also uh, living here. And I read he described it as the best anchorage in East Anglia or in the east of England. So uh, he probably was right, but just some amazing yachts that you see there. It's the Ipswich Royal Yacht Club. If you walk from behind, if you walk behind us and uh, up the river, or well, a mile or half a mile, you'll come to the uh, marinas. You can watch all the activity of the yachts coming and going. It's quite wide at this part of the river actually. That's our sign. Um, now, what do we do here? We've got, well, I've got this sort of colour I can do this bit of the wall here. You see my brush is a little dry there so you get some dry brush stroke a little allow a little bit of the white of the of the paper to light through um, and we've got here so I've got to try and vary the colours a little bit. You want to have as much variety as you can, just change up your colours a little bit. I think that needs to be a bit darker. Squinting my eyes. I can see, so I've got a bit of Payne's Grey, which I'll put in there. It's not catching the light here, you see it's Right is coming right, light is right to left. And uh, we'll vary some there. And along this surface as well, there's a little raised area here. 
this bit of the ramp here is dark and behind is inflatable so we'll just mark that in best we can and uh, I think we can raise it a little bit can see a bit of it going in here still and this is quite light here all this area is catching a bit of sun so let's try and get that in Beautiful sunny day when I was there. A little bit lighter under here on this decking area of the pub. As I said, you can have a lovely meal here. side we've got um, slightly redder bit of gravel and let's try and keep that sweep that in here to show uh, there's light catching the gravel and let's bring it down a little bit here actually so in the foreground there's going to be some grass some grass out there as well so let's get a grass cutter in a little bit of sap green I'm going to put a little bit of cadmium yellow in it because I want to keep it warm. As I said it was so bright. And there's some grass growing up here. Right, okay. Of lighter greens here, some big hedges here. They were all catching the different bits of light and some dark. I've got to get some dark green here. I'll try to vary them. I'm going to have a little bit of Viridian give me some different colours oh, I need a little bit of blue in this actually because it was quite dark in here this was uh, a little bit of hedge there always dark along the bottom too it's not getting the sun, sunlight there. Uh, keep varying the greens. See, so we have a little bit of variety. This here. Trees, 
popping out over here. You see some lovely oak trees along this shore, foreshore. Some great big, very ancient oaks, and some of them have fallen into the Orwell over the years. So they're great big trunk still. Right, let's get some different green here. Try and put a few bits of trunk in as well to try and define the trees a little bit better. trees down there coming behind the pub so we'll put that in right oh yes I can see a little bit more green Coming along here, weeds, and um, what colour am I going to do the front of the house? It's not bright white, um, but I need to get something in there bit more green needed here over the changes right um, yes, and a little bit of neutral tone or something here fill in that little gap there And see this more shadow coming here. So perhaps I should get a shadow colour, a little bit of blue and some crimson alizarin makes a nice sort of purpley shadowy colour. So I think I'm going to try and introduce some of that here. It's coming down under the eaves, you've got some shadow there. And this came right down here. Right. We'll leave it like that for the moment. It's quite a sharp line from the shadow there. So here, um, getting some under here, under these. This was a lot of shadow on this part. I'll put the details of the windows in shortly. But the shadows were coming down all over this. 
actually, so let's make sure we've got that. to kind of this this little boat um, so I think I'll just get the shadow color under there help define the shape a little bit that goes right down to here Shadow there too, actually. Let's get a bit that purple color, sweep it in like that's coming across the front of the building there. I'll put something in for the windows in a moment. Um, let's get some shadow. Right, let's get a bit of a shadowy colour. A bit of purple, yes, that's a hint of ultramarine. And that is coming out all over here. Get that a bit darker, a little Payne's grey with it. A bit more blue. out here yes we'll do that and we've got shadows under there and as I said we've got more shadow here I need to bring that out here um, or under our boat, our inflatable here, got quite a, a dark shadow there, let's get a little darker, a bit of, bit of Payne's grey with that, darken that up a little bit, sharp little line there, coming under the boat there under its edge. We've got a colour in our big outboard here. Got here is um got a wheel as well for the trolley that it's on. This wall here of the uh, building is quite a dark area. So I'm going to try and get that in. It's not catching the light, or it's painted, I think. Some bitumen, maybe. I'm not sure. And uh, and we've got to put our, um, our windows in 
as well and we've got to get these some tables here a few customers so I'll just roughly put that in and then I need to get some of these rails in these posts stop the customers falling over this little area okay now let's uh, I put a little bit neutral tone on boat here I can show some detail just to suggest it. It's a little board, little seat there, um, and darker down under there, and this part is still a bit of detail here some oars lying, some details in the boat so there we go, let's how's that look? and here we've got all these posts here on this rail um, Get those in. Right, and then we'll rail along here. here put that in and I need to put some hint at some of the uh, trees here Now let's, um, should I try and, now this is edges dried a little bit, a bit more detail on the roof perhaps, um, drain pipes and all that sort of paraphernalia that you have, a little shadow to find the edges a little bit. There was a little bit of the building jutting out behind there. Got some masts of these old barges and things that are being done up. Here I've got an old jetty, which is old timbers.
Right. To get our chimneys in, let's put a little bit of terracotta color there, a little bricky color, a bit of reddish, a bit of umber. Bring the changes. Right, got to get some shadow under the eaves there. That'll give you some more form to the building. Get that roof line. We can. Right. some tiles. There's a lot of lines down here. Just don't want to do every one in. And this is dark. You have to get a little dark for the doors. A little bit of Payne's Grey. Dark in the interior there. I think our door comes down here. Oh, we've got quite a big window here. You can sit in this room and look out over the harbour. These are the little umbrellas and you've got the shadows of the people standing here. So I'll suggest that a few customers I could put a bit of colour into some of them. So I got windows. Do that shape there. Right. And that's a window as well. I remember seeing that. suggest these umbrellas. Certainly needed the day I was there. 
was baking. Um, put a shadow cast by that. Which are these posts, of course. something for that sign. Let's get a little bit of a... I think there was a bit of blue in it. And the top half suggests their little logo. And um, a little bit of water lying actually. Some puddles so we'll go with that suggest some water under there right now I think let's put something in for the umbrellas they're quite striking just looking at my reference. Yes, they were a nice blue. So let's get something in there. Let's see if we can make it zing a little bit. Well, they've got some um, lovely uh, hanging baskets as well. So I've got to get a few of those in. So I'm just going to a little blue in here and um, I think the um, this whole barge was a sort of fairly Colour, so I think I'll go with that. I wonder how many years it's been there. Some of these old barges have got accommodation on them. You know, people live on them. Just whether they're permanent residents, I don't know. I suspect some of them do live there all the time. Right, let's get um, some detail some hanging baskets in I think. Let me get some nice cadmium red. There's some nice flowers there. I want to notice this. Actually before I forget I can see they had green plant climbing up there. So let's go with that. Oh, and they had some tubs here too. Let's get a nice little conifer shape. And several of them there. And barrels as well. Dark and that green had some interest there. darker colour in my tree area. Right, 
Right. Let's get him. Get back on the tree, on the hanging baskets. So I've got some cadmium red here. dry at the moment so to make a fairly stiff mixture. Get a tickle a little bit in. Where have we got one? Got one here. Oh gosh that's a bit too fierce. Hmm. Another one here. There is some growing here. Right. It's, yeah, the place is red. What we could do. Let's try and add a bit of colour to some of these customers. Give them some suggestion, more definition. Get some mix of browns and Darker colours under here, it's shadows and these tubs were here as well, half barrels, one there, one here. So darken up this some definition in these rails on the dark side. bit of red there, bit of shadow, bit of definition, all these things, another bit of a chimney there, and we've got the aerial as well. So just our sign. How does it look? What are we getting there? Um, I don't want to do too much, but I think you can add lots and lots of detail as you go, actually. Somewhat too much sometimes. Less is more, as they say, with watercolour. I think I'm going to put some accents of red on that barge. I can find a nice tiny little brush. I 
think I might be able to do that. Um, let's get a bit of CAD. Cadmium red. And uh, yes. In fact, it was yes, quite a little accent here on the hull, which we can do. And there as well. That I think comes all along there. So we'll do that, I think. Um, I've got a lady in here with a nice jacket. Let's uh, give her a little purple. Bring the changes. Mix it with that red there. Let's add a little texture to the building. A little bit of dry brush. Um, yes, I think I could put a little bit of green in the uh, in the distance to the left of that barge. Because the, the other side of the uh, there are trees. I don't want them too bright because uh, they will come forward. These are just in the distance. So I think I'll leave it there. Um, I could put a lot more detail if I wanted. Um, I think I need to put another window actually. I think there was one just by that umbrella. So I need to suggest that. And here there was another door. So I'll do that. And I'll also put a slight hint of a different blue on the underside. Uh, of the umbrellas to suggest some shadow. So I've got a nice dark blue with a little bit of brown. Not to make it too blue, but let's put some shadow under there. Yes, I think that's bit more definition there. But I could bring it up a little bit. Step up the colour on that top bit there. And this sort of advertising logos as well. Um, define those edges a little bit on that building. Um, I think a bit darker in some of these places. You put the darks in the seems to emphasize the whites more. That's what I'm doing here. Texture on that boat. A 
they certainly do good business here. Um, I could add a little more dark to this left side and the base here to emphasize the fact that it is in the dark. Darker areas, the sun is coming down this way. Um, a bit, a bit more dark for my uh, some of those old um, trees here, actually. Some of them are looking a bit battered, a bit old. Looks like they've been chopped. Um, shadow under our chimney there. And uh, should I do no crack at these lines, these tiles. I think I should probably leave it at this before I overwork it. Um, I can do lots more at my leisure, of course, but just for a session here for a alla prima, all in one session, I think I've probably done enough. Um, could put the signage in and things like that. Um, the butt and oyster. We should have a go, perhaps. Right here. It's barely visible, but just a suggestion. Darker under there, like Eve, a little bit. Let's see, I think we've got a bit more down here. We sat in a room here looking out over this for a meal. Very nice. Try and get some darks here under this bit of old jetty. Obviously, much darker and old. And on the bottom of the boat there. some 
something more in there. There you are, I think I'm going to leave it at that before I overwork it. I may do some more on it um, off camera, uh, but in essence, I think I've captured the uh, some sort of memory of the day, which is what I try to do to uh, recall the experience of being out. So if you do get a chance, go and visit this, the Button Oyster Hat or Pin Mill on the River Orwell in Suffolk. Uh, I think you will have a very good day out. So if you like this, by the way, give me a like, thumbs up sign and push the button for subscribe and then you will be notified of when I do some more uh, paintings. Well, thanks for watching.